Okay, welcome to the part two of the bottle stopper process. Now, overnight, my wife uh, made these nice labels, and she's glued them onto the bottles, and I thought the way she glued them was quite clever. What she did was she just painted PVA onto the bottle, put the paper label on top, and then painted PVA over the top. In fact, we just used, you know, Selly's Aqua here. And that's dried clear, and it looks really good. I actually took a video of the process of putting the labels on, but it didn't work out because the focus on the camera hates me. Uh, the other thing I discovered last night, talking to friends, this is that gluing silicone is much harder than I realized. So we had a bunch of uh, Google searching, and in the end it seemed like these Loctite super glues might be the way to go. So I've bought this morning a selection of those, that's glue remover, so we don't need that. But I bought a gel super glue and I bought a plastic super glue. Now of course these all say, you know, works for some rubbers or whatever on the back, and then refer to data sheet. So it was hard while at the hardware store to actually look at the data sheets and decide which ones would work and which ones wouldn't. So that was a bit annoying. So the plan is to uh, chop up one of the stoppers and try it on some wood and see which you know, glue sticks best. I also, because of the wood's turning stock, two or three other super glues. Uh, the difference with the wood turning super glues is that they have different viscosities. So there's a thin one, a medium one, and a thick one. And I don't know how the viscosity of the gel compares. I assume it's very thick. But what we can do is we can chop up one of the silicon stoppers, because I have heaps of them, and then give uh, gluing that with various glues a try and see which glues are successful. And that might be useful for other people as well. So uh, hang ten a second while I uh, prepare to do that bit. OK, back again. So I guess I really only get one take at this, so hopefully I won't make a terrible error. But we have the uh, silicon stopper that I'm going to sacrifice. So I'll just chop that. Looking at it, I have four candidates for glue. I'm not going to do the, um, the Loctite plastics glue immediately because I don't think silicone is going to count as a plastic. I'm going to instead try the CA glues, because that seems to be what the internet thinks will work best. So, I'm just going to chop this up into four pieces, which I'm sure makes horrible television, so to speak. And then, I just dug around in my scraps bin, and this is a scrap wood turning offcut. You can see where the chuck has grabbed it, but it's really too small to make anything out of. So I'm going to try gluing to that. So first off, I've got the Loctite gel super glue that I bought this morning. Um, kind of don't know how to operate. How do I squeeze these things? Uh, there we go. We'll do the worst possible gluing, which is onto end grain, which is in fact how the silicon stoppers will be. I also have, this is just Gorilla Super Glue, the label's just fallen off it. I use this uh, in pen assembly. This is how I glue the brass tubes in. So let's, uh, you can see that's a lot more liquid than the Loctite. Doesn't look hopeful, does it? And then I'm not really sure how I'll use these, maybe I'll Chop one up into flatter pieces because they curve so much. And then um, this is my thin CA. I actually don't think I'll bother trying this one. It's basically water. Uh, and then this is medium CA, which again is used for wood turning. Um, the thin and medium CAs are used for um, fixing cracks in bulb lengths and stuff like that when you turn. So you'll be turning and you'll discover a defect in the wood deep down um, where you couldn't see when you started turning. And instead of throwing the piece out, you'll often repair those with a super glue, which is just what CA is. Um, and I'm just holding this one here because it's curved. I want to give the super glue a little bit of time to go off. Apparently I want to give it a lot of time. Hopefully without sticking my finger to it. If this doesn't work, I also have a CA accelerator I can try. Do, do, do. I'm sure this bit makes horrible, 
horrible viewing. I'm going to glue my finger down if I'm not careful. No, it's not really working. Let me just grab the accelerator and we'll see if that helps. Now this is just pump CA accelerator again. I normally use it for wood turning. Um, so if I hold this down, I'll give them all a good spray at this point. And again, hopefully not gluing my finger down. Change finger so you can see. You can tell when the CA goes off because often it'll start bubbling. So I can just see the thin one that I did most recently bubbling now. I'm going to say that's not a success for the thin one. Look, I'm going to give those a few minutes to dry and then we'll see how the gel and the other one went. Okay, it's been 10 or 15 minutes. I didn't actually time. I had to go off and deal with the shouting child. Uh, but it's been long enough for super glue to dry. Now, I used three glues. There was the medium thickness wood turning glue. There was the Gorilla Glue, and then there was the gel uh, Loctite. So it looks to me like the medium thickness is the least successful. It did actually stick, but not fantastically. And maybe the problems it had sticking were about um, the curve of the test piece. It's hard to tell, but certainly not a winner. Um, just keep my clean bits separate from my dirty bits. Um, again, so the Gorilla Glue didn't stick fantastically, but interestingly, it still looks wet there at the bottom of the joint. So maybe if I'd just given it some more time. And then finally the gel. It's not super solid, like I'm sure I could separate that if I forced it. But I think the lot, in fact, there we go, I can tear it now. But yeah, I think the Loctite gel is by far the best of those options so far. The final option is um, the plastic glue. Now that's intended for PE plastics, which is not what silicon is. So I think that's probably not a good choice. And I think, to be honest, the gel control glue is good enough for my purposes. I think the last test I should do is, there was also a suggestion that Araldite might do better. So if you give me a moment, I might set up for a quick Araldite test. So as promised, let's have a play with some Araldite. Now this Araldite's left over from when I made uh, the separator bar for my lathe. So hopefully it's still good for use. So we'll just unscientifically mix it a little bit. Pretty sure from memory you meant to use equal portions. But I guess I could be wrong. Well, it certainly smells like Araldite. We'll use a new piece of silicone just in case the residue from the other glues on the other ones it affects its performance. And then we'll use this screwdriver to push it down. Now the Araldite packet says to wait five minutes uh, and that's going to make hilariously boring recording. So uh, ignore me for a moment while I do this. Okay, so it's been more than five minutes. In the end, I clamped the test piece just because the curvature of the silicon was getting in the way so much. And this nail is just about stopping uh, my clamp, hopefully, from being permanently bonded to the piece. So if we take that off, I can tell you immediately that it hasn't dried, it hasn't stuck fantastically. So when I poke it, the Araldite is definitely dry, but the silicone just has not stuck. In fact, bearing in mind that the Araldite under the silicone has experienced less air, it's dry too. It just didn't stick. So I think all up the winner there is the Loctite gel control. So that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to clamp each silicon stopper onto uh, the wooden handle. So I think the process will be is I'll squeeze a amount of the gel control in 
I'll fumble, apparently. I'll uh, insert the stopper. Oh, there we go. And then, this one that hates me. I'll insert the stopper and then I'll clamp it with just some quick rip clamps while it dries. And hopefully that will be good enough. The only thing I'm worried about stopping is I don't really want the silicon to come off and then float around inside the vanilla essence bottle. That would make it quite sad. So anyway, so that's some experiments in gluing silicone to wood. And I've got to say the Loctite gel control glue is the best of the, what's that, five glues that I've tried. All right, thanks for watching.